This video is going to summarize all of the Maxwell relations for the different thermodynamic state functions which are of interest to us. So we define in the natural variables video that the internal energy U is a natural function of entropy S and volume V. Enthalpy is a function of S and pressure. The Helmholtz energy A is a function of temperature and volume. And the Gibbs energy G is a function of temperature and pressure. The function is defined uh, by, by its relationship to internal energy U, and enthalpy is U plus PV. The Helmholtz energy is U minus TS. The Gibbs energy can be defined as the internal energy minus TS plus PV, or it can also be defined by the Helmholtz energy plus PV, or the most, much more common way as enthalpy minus TS. So if we work out uh, the differential, starting from the differential of internal energy, we have du equals TDS minus PDV. TDS is equal to heat minus PDV is equal to work. And then we do a Legendre transformation based off of these differentials, as we showed in the previous video, and you can arrive at these following differential forms for all these other thermodynamic state functions. The enthalpy is TDS plus VDP, transforming conjugate variables P and V. The Helmholtz energy is minus SDT minus PDV, transforming the conjugate variables T and S, entropy and temperature. And the Gibbs energy is DG is going to be minus SDT plus VDP, transforming both pressure volume and entropy temperature conjugate variables there. And then as we showed in the previous video, there's a Maxwell relationship which will exist for each of these differential forms in terms of their mixed partial derivatives. The one we defined for internal energy is that dt dv at constant s equals minus dp ds at constant v. And that just comes from replacing these with their partial derivatives in terms of this total differential and then taking the second derivative uh, for the mixed partial derivative and you get this relationship as shown in the previous video. And then we can do that for all the other thermodynamic state functions as well. From enthalpy we get dt dp at constant s equals dv ds at constant p. And for the Helmholtz energy we get ds dv at constant t equals dp dt at constant v. And for the Gibbs energy for the differential dg we get the Maxwell relation ds dp at constant t equals minus dv dt at constant p. And these become useful primarily for the fact that diff, uh, derivatives with respect to entropy are usually fairly complicated and involved. Entropy is definitely the most mystic of all of these thermodynamic uh, variables. And we like to get things in terms of just temperature, volume, and pressure. Things that just have tv, tp, or pt in them because those are things which we can empirically measure. We can change the temperature and see how the pressure changes and keep the volume the same. We can change the te we can change the volume, keep the temperature the same and you know, this and that. So, that's the main reason why these are interesting because we can get derivatives primarily of entropy and get them into just state functions like the how the temperature changes when you change the volume, keeping the pressure the same.